Mm-hmm. I feel like I missed something there. Jimmy Rogers. Uh, you know, a, a lot of that. Roy Rogers. Uh, a lot of the music from that era. Right. Um, you know, the 40s. Uh, and a lot of the, the artists, you know, that continued on in sure. the, the 50s and 60s and even the 70s. Right. Um, and we try and, and mix it up because we want to provide entertainment for everybody. And there is nothing better than classic country music, mm -hmm. period. And we're one of the last of Mohican as far as radio stations go that are still trying to preserve that classic country music yes. and bluegrass. Well, and you do, a, I, I think I've heard in the past uh, out, of, uh, out of the guys that stem in Nashville, I mean, you're probably like the top three as far as the live, uh, you know, special bluegrass that's played. I was told played. by Eddie Stubbs. Eddie Stubbs is the voice of WSM in Nashville. He's, okay. Uh, one of the uh, Grand Ole Opry stage announcers. He he uh, visited with us here last summer, and he told me that I do see I do four hours of bluegrass recorded bluegrass music from Monday through Friday, two two to uh, two to six. And Eddie Stubbs told me he said, you know, Mel, he said your show. It's probably one of just a handful of all bluegrass shows across the nation with a live disc jockey. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of uh, all bluegrass shows, daily shows, but it's all automated. It's all programmed, but sure. We're, yeah. we're doing it like it's supposed to be done, like right. it was done originally. Right, <laughs> right. right. Exactly. Which was seen earlier yeah. today yeah. with our friend. Yes. What, what was the band that was here earlier? Uh, uh, they were kind of blue, blue, weren't they? Blue Express, yeah. <laughs> they were kind of blue. They were, they were very good. That's something else that's not being done anymore. That's live show that we have on Saturdays. Oh, yeah. Live bands. And I think as we've talked about it earlier, uh, it's theater of the mind. And it, yes. it definitely, you know, it, it definitely is. And we see somebody uh, in there, I believe, looking at uh, something over there. Who's this gentleman? Is this Bill Mason? Hey, hey Bill, how you doing? You're going to put me on TV? You're on TV, sir. Right, right <laughs> You're on TV. You won't believe it. Well, One you've time been. In my uh, career, I spent yeah. 13 years there. Oh, really? Okay. All right. Three at Channel 10, two at Channel 3 in Norfolk, which is a joke. <laughs> Ten at Channel 10, which. Wavy, up, wavy right, TV, right? right? Or wobbly TV? No, it was uh, WCAR. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, it was just like a damn party. <laughs> I don't think I worked a sweat in three years. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's just uh, the way it was. How do you find it up here in this, uh, in this neck of the woods? Oh, I like it. I like being yeah. up here. Now you do you do a lot of new you do news and and but you seem to do a lot of community oriented oh, things yeah, too yeah. which is really we cover five uh, government bodies in our okay and, uh, local and, get and they're up against it you find this out pretty quick right the state gives them a little bit less every year yeah and a little bit more to do a little bit less to do a little right that's more to do with that's it nice. right that's not good then you got a place to prove mainly old people. How much money have they got anyway? Yeah, yeah. So that makes it rough, well, it's great to have this well-rounded, this live news, the local, and, and kind of going yeah. back to that service yeah. aspect yeah. of things in there. Oh, we'll let you get back to the pots and the sliders there, sir. Oh, yeah. Appreciate it. Well, I, make, I got a television at home. Today. I wish I had it on. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have quite a, uh, quite a cast here, Chuck. Uh, we have fun. Yes, that's and that's the sure. name of the game. And it, it, that's what radio is about. And, and we want our listeners, our friends, our family, our neighbors, if you will, right. to enjoy it right along with us. I mean, we are here for Southside Virginia. Right. And uh, anytime people have problems, uh, questions, We'll help them with their problems and hopefully answer their questions. If you're heading down 360 or 460 any direction, your stop won't be complete unless you make a run by the apt name Melody Lane. Yes. And you welcome visitors to come by and say yes, hi, we right? Do. Uh, we do. We, we usually have a, a, a few visitors during the week all right. on and... We'll give you a tour of the station and explain a little of the history and, and uh, that's very important. Make your visit enjoyable yeah. and uh, get you to sign our guest book and uh, you know just uh, 
Have a good Fort time. Fort on the wall. I was looking over there. I was, is that Uncle Milty? Or <laughs> no. No, that's... Uh, that was a program Thomas. manager. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. From back in the day. Back in the day. Uh, I believe he was the original program manager when the station started in uh, 1947. Well, we've come from the beginning to the present, so we'll go back to the beginning and let Gene fade it out. But come and dig SBS soon at WSUSAM.com, also at VictoriaCambridge.com. Follow the links.